Many Christians in America are taught that you can't feel God's presence. What would you say to that? We need to check our heart. Our heart, or let's say spirit, is the tool through uh, via via which which God speaks to us. And if it's in the dirt, God cannot taste all close to you. you. We need to understand God is spirit, and He's Holy Spirit, and He is Holy God. And He said, "Be holy, because I'm holy. Be perfect, because I'm perfect." Okay, we receive this justification on the cross, but then we need to go through sanctification. We need to allow the Holy Spirit to change our hearts, and then we need to allow the Holy Spirit to touch each area of our life and to change, to put everything according to His will. So this is what Martin Luther says, that every day your old Adam is diminished, you know, and the new person created in you according to the will of Christ is growing. The new person is growing. The old Adam is dying, is diminishing. So it's a process. And that's a cause or reason. All causes is in us. So it's obviously God is good. God is holy. So here we are. So if we cannot connect with him, we cannot receive the answer with God. So if he's good, if he's holy, then the problem is in us. But we need to look for causes in us, and it can be even unforgiveness of our father. We cannot forgive our father or mother, or you know, many people they cannot forgive who already passed away. Those people, and also, or they cannot use right their tongue. They can um, speak. They can have dirty language. It's, so the, the, the reason why uh, pastors and theologians would not encourage seeking all kind of feelings and experiences is the danger of mysticism and uh, the occult, right? So, uh, of course, uh, the spiritual world is real, and if you're not in Christ uh, and you're seeking uh, for some experiences and feelings, you can be deceived uh, by evil spirits. So this is a danger. So, but again, repentance—you know, keeping your heart clean, uh, uh, abiding in Jesus and His Word. This is our protection against evil spirits, right? Mm -hmm. So trusting Jesus, trusting His uh, promises, what He did for us. So that can protect us from. Um, false or uh, deceiving feelings, right? Mm -hmm. So, and I would agree, so do not seek, you know, some sort of experiences, especially when you have unrepented heart or you have unforgiveness in your heart or something else. And if it's, you do not enjoy, listen to God. God's word, God's, God's word. word. We need to enjoy it. We, we need to lo love uh, to hear the word of God and to we be in God. We need to love to please him. To please him. If so, you do not have this in your life, it's very dangerous to look to, uh, for, for experience, feeling, and feelings for experience and experiences. Like that. that is why we would agree with that. So this is super dangerous. So on the other hand, uh, again, God makes certain promises to us in the scriptures. And again, because our heart is not prepared or ready, or there are some sort of unforgiveness or something else in our heart, we may not feel many things. And this is when we are encouraged, trust what God says. Do not rely on your feelings, because you can feel alone, discouraged, frustrated, but God promises, I'm with you, right? So, and people can, so, so people can ask here how to how to feel here practically. That's right. So, uh, the, the, to feeling God, uh, to feel God, it's not your objective to feel Him. Our objective to know His will, to know His word, and to trust Him. And we are still we human beings. We we feel things anyway. So right. So, but again. Uh, we are not robots, right? So we cannot exclude feelings. You know, just because we are afraid that people can uh, feel something wrongly or you know deceive themselves, it doesn't mean that God would not 
uh, fill your heart with love or peace or joy. Those things are also feelings, right? So how do you feel the presence of the Lord? Well, you feel joy, you feel mm -hmm. peace, mm -hmm. you still feel. So, but if you want to have some uh, unusual, mystical, uh, some sort of occult experiences, we are not talking about Without that. Without changing your life? So that, th th that's is not... Uh, so, so, that is why many, by the way, many people, they go to a cult, because there you do not need to change your life. And you still can and feel just, something. Yes, and it, there you can feel. But with God, no, it doesn't work like this. The more you want to feel God, the more you want to be in His presence, the more you need to stay in His Word, the more you need to be careful to watch very... Uh, it's so when, when what you watch, what you speak, what you do, where you go, you know, you control, it's your price. If you want to enjoy his love, his presence, you pay this price, you, you, you need to, to be as, as more as possible in his presence. Again, how to be in his presence, how to spend time with him, to read the Bible, talk with him, pray with him, listen to his psalms, talk about him, you know, go to, to the church. Stay with the people who love uh, Jesus, you know, and later you will see the result. It will be, it, it will be your reward. So, but when you say feel God, uh, it's not that you, you are talking about some ecstatic experience. So it's basically from what you describe. So what you mean when you say feel God, you feel love, that he loves you, Very much. that he forgives I, you. I can cry. So this I is what you feel. I can cry and I enjoy this. Some people, they can, they can uh, uh, say that it's like a drug. Once you try it, you never, you but, cannot. But, but again, it's you, not. Your, your soul, your heart, you need it spiritually. May, may, you talk with him. May, you, may I say something? Uh, so it's not just generic love. Mm -hmm. It's not just I feel love. This is very specific love that comes from Jesus, from Jesus. with forgiveness of your sins, mm -hmm. with accepting you as his child. As his child. So this is this is this is very specific mm -hmm. love. This is because we can, you can go out and people do all kind of bad things and they call it love as well. Mm -hmm. And when you say feel love, it's not just as I said, vanilla love or generic or, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's very specific love that is coming from mm -hmm. Christ is focused on Christ, mm -hmm. on what Christ has done for us and what Christ is doing for us. You know, what he has done for us in terms of redemption, mm -hmm. dying on the cross, forgiving us, reconciling us with God, allowing us to be now in the presence of the Father because of Jesus' righteousness. That kind of love you feel. Yeah, and this, it's very Is important it, it, because what you talk, we can see in the Bible that we can see wisdom from the world, wisdom from God. Uh, we can see um, uh, sexual immorality, which is kind of love, yeah, the, but we can see the pure love, 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 love from, from the world and love from God and peace. God says, "I give you peace, like peace. the peace, like the world cannot give you." Mm -hmm. So not not that peace which from you know, uh, and by the way, when you feel uh, God's love, it's it it's, it doesn't have uh, it doesn't it, it 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 doesn't depend on circumstances around you. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a как uh, состояние. State. It's state. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what. This is God, because when you feel His presence, when you're in Him, but we need to understand that. When to speak about God, about His presence, we cannot uh, avoid topic about kingdom of God. You are in His kingdom, and we see that the Bible says that the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, right? So, if you wanted to be here in this, you need to work on this, you need to meditate what Jesus did for you, and now uh, what He wants you to do, do what He wants you to do. And what then you have this full righteousness. And in the more you work on this, the more you feel His presence, and the more you trust Him. And then when you pray, you see the answer, and you're so happy. And God said about this that 
pray, ask, and you have, you have perfect joy. And, and again, Without this, we cannot uh, have perfect joy. And again, I want to emphasize that we are talking about the God of the Bible. Mm -hmm. We are not talking mm -hmm. about generic God, about the universe, or some energy. Because you can hear a lot of people, they would also be using these words, God, love, peace, but the source, the source of that love, God and peace, but you is know not what? the Bible. Many it's, it's, it's not Christ They're looking for you know even, other even sources. Even Christians, even Christians, their their hearts they, they confused. They, sometimes they confused, confused because they can hear this Bible, Bible, Bible from the birth. They can go to the church. They can be uh, uh, taken someone with, uh, by someone to the church. It can be their grandparents parents. or mm -hmm. parents, and then can they always like around of this about this uh, surrounded surrounded of this by this by surrounded by by this uh, um, you know, and that is why it's also can be very dangerous if uh, if they do not stop and not meditate about their own connection with God. We cannot go to God as a team together. We enter to God and to this eternal life by one. You will stand individually. individually. And you need to ask yourself, what is this about? What, what is going on with my faith? Do I have that, this faith? And you know, when I became a Christian, we didn't grow with the we didn't uh, grow with the Bible. Then I found the Bible, and I was so excited to meditate about this to understand that God revealed to me Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and it's everything in the Bible. And from that day, I started reading the Bible, you know. And uh, if we are a Christian um, who went to the church more maybe than 20 years already to the church also we can uh, fall asleep maybe not too much but we can fall asleep and how I found myself that I fall asleep I, I, I stopped reading the Bible uh, daily and God and I wanted to have God more and I asked God I want to have you more I want to feel that I'm your child I, I want to feel feel your spirit, I want to uh, see my answers, uh, my prayer, I want to be hotter, mm -hmm. you know, and one early morning, very early morning, I was turning from one side to my <laughs> other side, and I heard, not voice, but like strong thought, read the Bible every day, mm -hmm. at least a chapter. You know how God speaks, the message comes like this, but the message is very rich because you can be deceived. And this is how you, you will be fulfilled with the Holy Spirit. This is a big talk. You, will, you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. So, and this is a big topic. Because mm -hmm. it's not ha it doesn't happen just once. We receive Holy Spirit, that's all. No, mm -hmm. everything is growing. Well, this is what we this need is, to be. This is, this when is, I, this is what Luther... Let me you remember this. And when I started doing this, I tried to be, uh, I tried to listen to God. He said to me this. I don't want to uh, ignore his word because I want to hear him. If I ignore him here, why will ask him to mm -hmm. teach me something? I need to follow his uh, lesson. He said to me, and you can ask Marine, uh, it doesn't matter how exhausted I am. I need to read or a psalm or a chapter or it doesn't matter. So, that is why when I go to the party, I think that uh, I need to go home and to be able to pray and to take uh, open my Bible and to read. If you do, if I know that in the evening I'm very busy, I need to find this time to reading in the morning. It doesn't matter. I need to find this time for so, God. And then, believe me or not, I started feeling Him mm. more and more every day. And His love comes. Mm. You you know sometimes. It's, it, he reminds himself uh, about him. I can do I can do my chores at home, and suddenly I feel his love, mm -hmm. and I say thank you Jesus, yeah. because he's he said I'm jealous, right? I'm jealous, 
And if you go into this kind of relationship with him, that's wonderful. When he said, I'm here, Tatiana, you are five minutes or ten minutes thinking not about me, you know. I want to think about this with you. Mm -hmm. You know, and he reminds you. And that's wonderful to live like this so close. So but let it, me, you need to do something. Let, let me clarify something. People may be confused a little bit but by what you are saying. Let me clarify some, some, some things. So first, when you talk about daily renewal, so that includes daily repentance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, this is uh, this is very important mm -hmm. daily repentance, I'll, I'll and 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 and, and this is exactly what Luther also says that the life of the Christian is life of daily repentance. Mm -hmm. You always renew, you know, uh, your relationship with Jesus. When you say connected to Jesus, that means uh, that you uh, think about Him that you are thankful for everything he has done for you. This is what connection means. Again, it's not just some strange mystical connection. No, no that's no, very it, specific based on the person and works of Christ, right? And in the Bible we can see it says, may, may, may I clarify? Never, never come to me with the empty hands. And so you, it was in Old Testament, but in New Testament, it repentance. When we start praying, every morning I ask God to, ha to renew His mercy for me. Mm -hmm. And every day must be like new day. Mm -hmm. Ask Him mercy. Uh, and say, I say like Him like this, God, please renew your mercy for me today. Please forgive me. Nobody is worth. Everybody committed sin. Everybody lost your glory, Jesus. Please forgive me. Father, does your son uh, is uh, worth? And because of your son, is worthy. Is worthy. And because of your son, I'm forgiven. I'm reconciled with you. I'm adopted. I'm a child of God. I'm a temple of the Holy Spirit. Now I have peace with you, Jesus. Because of you, Jesus. Because of you. Thank you. I I can enter to the. Uh, I can stand in front of the throne of grace and I'm here today because of you Jesus thank you for your blood thank you for this for that and, and this then, is just, you feel the presence of but, God which you feel as God's mm -hmm. responding to you like you actually feel his love and his forgiveness but that's it's not separate from the Word of God from the Bible, and no. it's not separate from the person and works of Jesus. And when you say that during the day, uh, he reminds you about himself, uh, it's not, again, that you are busy doing something uh, and, and all of a sudden you feel something. It's very, it's normally throughout the day you keep thinking about Jesus, praying to Jesus, thanking him for what he has done for you it's like basically continuous prayer like very mm -hmm. you know uh, uninterrupted you know dialogue with jesus himself because many people may have all kind of feelings and they can feel peace and love because they listen to piece of music or watch the video or saw something beautiful you know and they say that is also good this is you know God's creation, or, or what are the people, but this is not the same what you're talking about. So I like you, you, what you said about word. The Bible is very important. I've never, mm -hmm. felt, I've never felt that I like fed up enough without God, God's word. Not fed up, but was, full. I'm full. I'm fooled. I've never mm -hmm. felt that I'm full, like, because, mm -hmm. you know, and my, my advice is, and I'm still trying to do the same, do not... Uh, leave any day if you do not feel that today you was uh, how do you say it? Full. 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 You need to. Нет, нет, долго, о, коротко. Full. Да. Full. That you ate because when we meditate on the word, it means we're eating. It means our spirit is eating. Mm -hmm. And that you are full. That you are nourished. That nourished. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. nourished. Mm -hmm. You need to feel that you are nourished enough. That you know and. This feeling, this condition, here I I I I feel how I'm how how I'm, I'm blessed, how I'm happy, and here I start feeling His presence. But reading, you know, I have 
I can pray without reading the Bible, but when I read the Bible, meditate and pray after that, that's amazing. But people, they cannot understand that we cannot separate Bible from prayers. And, you know, we need to get at least this language. And, 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 and again... This is God's language. And, 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 and to pray for each situation in our life using His language. Mm -hmm. To be with Him in one wave. We cannot... Uh, we have one saying in our language to uh, draw your blanket on you, like, <laughs> from you on me. Like, mm -hmm. we cannot do this. We cannot... God to draw to us. We need to draw to ourselves. God, yes. ourselves. So we should play according to His rules. We don't want to try to make right. God right. to play according to our rules. Mm -hmm. And another thing I wanted to clarify, when you say to read uh, the Bible at least one chapter a day, some people might say, may say, well, it's legalism, we have freedom in Christ, we have grace, and now you are creating laws. But it's not a law, it's uh, basically self-discipline. Mm -hmm. It's not that you are prescribing and telling everybody that it's a must, but it's your personal decision for yourself as part of your own spiritual discipline. It depends on how much. So you because want you, to can be read, you can read, you can read a chapter. God. You can read a if chapter. If you want to be closer to God, you'll do. You'll be very careful with what God says. You will not mm -hmm. create your own parallel rules and games. Yeah. This is not a game. So, but, but, but again, one chapter a day, mm -hmm. it can be two chapters, it can be three right, chapters, right, 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 it, right. Can be a, oh, it can course. be one paragraph. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I can it, go to the Bible study, then I can be in the church, but anyway, I come home and I read regularly something. Then uh, uh, I read, uh, I allow the Holy Spirit to work with me, and I can just open the Bible and like free reading or I can read devotions with my children mm -hmm. and also God can speak through me this. But you need to understand that you, yourself, it's time, your time with Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's special time. It doesn't matter that today you was in the Bible study, I was in the church, mm -hmm. today enough. Okay, you can say like this. But you can say, no, Jesus, I want to spend time with you. Mm -hmm. Do you feel different? So reading the Bible is not, uh, is not just like reading any other book. Like, uh, okay, so I have this discipline to read this book. It's more like w while reading the Bible to have time with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it's, I would say it's a date with Jesus. A date with a Jesus. A date with Jesus. So because some people might say, well, now I have to read Bible one chapter a day. No, no, no. Through reading, it's a date. It's right? a date. Because somebody, well, people don't say, well, today I have to eat again. Uh, or today I have to eat breakfast again. You eat breakfast because your body needs it. You need lunch. You, need, you eat supper. And you do that daily. And we say you do that at least three, three times a day. And nobody complains. Everybody understands we need it. Our body needs it. And if we draw a parallel, reading the Bible, as you say, daily, and at least so much, it's also spiritual food, as you mentioned before, right? You want to feel nourished. And you... it touches your heart yeah. so strong, mm -hmm. his word, that you, you enjoy it. Just this moment makes you happy, and how you can avoid it. I, I, or I, miss it. I, I or miss, miss it. it. I'm looking for this time to be alone, to stay quiet, and to pray and to meditate on God's word. So it's not I, a duty. It's not a it's burden. Not a, no, it's a. It's, I, it's, it's joy. It's my time. It's joy. It's pleasure. And I want to more and more and more and more to do this. To, do this, to have time with Jesus more and more. And I, you know what? Prayer must be not as a ritual or a special time uh, for God to 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 pray. Prayer must be a style of life. Mm -hmm. You know, you you. Sh we, we need to understand that there is no any 
day, any hour when we can separate from God. And God doesn't want it. And it's very dangerous for us when we are distracted from God. And that moment when we are distracted, when we are distracted from God, we are in danger. We need to understand it. One day, my daughter, when we moved here to Michigan, we've never seen this Lake Michigan in, uh, during the winter time. And one, I remember that first year when we saw these ice. It was so for us something right amazing how this huge well, before, water can flow. Before, because before we we I mean everything around us is salty mm -hmm. and it never freezes. Mm -hmm. And here Lake Michigan has um, so a huge amount of water frozen. Frozen. Yeah, frozen. So that's and we looked at this and my Anna she rushed to this. She wanted to she noticed that somebody was walking on these like hills of ice. And I, I started uh, uh, calling Call her back, Anna, stop, Anna, stop, because I want to do first research. What is that? You know, I, I was afraid. Dangerous, dangerous, not dangerous. Yeah. And she was so excited. Happy, excited. And I, 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 I called her, called her back, and then she stopped. And I was so nervous. I said, what are you doing? We, do, we are not familiar with this. We need to, to, to first do research. Wait. These people, maybe they know what they're doing. Do not stay so far away from me because I cannot help you. And in case, in in case, case you, uh, need, you help. need help. And at that moment, I received from God immediately a lesson. This is like you, my dear children. Stay in such distance where I can help you. But if you are far away from me, how, you know... So it's up to us. He gives, he gives us everything to protect us. But there is something what we need to do. We need to stay close to God. And the closer we to God, the more we feel His love, the more we are protected. 